right, so I'm make this really quick. I know I had somebody ask me, how do you get your thumbnails to fit on YouTube? So when they're done making them, they're usually too big. So what you want to do, I'm using Photoshop. Just go up here to File. Then go down to where it says Save for Web and Devices. And what this does, it's going to show you the optimized view of the file. So it's the same file that just takes a lot out of it. So right now you see it's at two point I mean seven point seven megs and it gives you the different options. It also gives you kind of the speed. You can change this if you want to. So if you know you have a if you know what kind of speed or connection they're gonna be using, you can go choose that and then see which uh file size you want. I still have mine at fifty six so if somebody I believe that's dial up. So if somebody's on dial up they should be able to see this fine. So I usually use this one which is it went from 7.7 .7 megs to 505 kilobytes, and I believe that should be fine. I think you can do like only so many megs. Things like it's it's like so many megs you can do for upload, but 7. Point, I mean 5.5 .5 kilobytes. So I'm gonna select that over to the right. You can choose what type of file you want to output. I always do JPEG, and I leave it on JPEG high. I don't mess with anything else. You probably could play around with it, see how it works, but that's the only thing I do. This is 1980 by 1020. That's what I do mine on. And I just hit save. It's going to ask me where I want to save it to. You can see I have a couple already in here. And so this is going to do image only, but it's only going to save one. It's only going to save that one image. So you hit save. And we're going to say, I don't want to replace that. Let me stop. Let me say, um, I'm going to change it. It's probably the same thing, but just in case it's not, I'm just going to add a smaller to the end of it. Hit save. Now it's going to go in. So I'm going to go into my folders. And I'm going to go to that file so you can actually see it. All right, cool. So this is the this is the folder that it's in. And I'm going to do view extra large. So I actually may do preview panel. Okay, so that's one that I created, but these are the two I just made. So you can see the name smaller, and this the okay. So it's the same one. So I'd already did it, so I could have replaced it. As you can see, when I move my mouse over, it shows you the size is 5.5. So it's the same amount on each one. So just like this one, the same thing. Now this one was 308 kilobytes when I did it, and this one was. 439 kilobytes so when you use that option it allows you to save the file the way you want it and that way you can make your custom thumbnails and then when you do your video so let's go to my I'm just gonna show my stream information here so basically you hit change thumbnail and then it's gonna ask you since it was already set to my last one so I already uploaded the new one you would just select the one you want and then upload and it doesn't tell you exactly the size but I know it's, of course you know there's a certain size you can't use and that's that's pretty much it so once you have your thumbnails and that's for your videos as well get your size the right way that you want and I usually try and keep my I usually try and keep them like if I get a certain way that I'm doing it like in this one there's multiple uh, words and stuff in here that I've used that I have hidden right now so sometimes I may use the same kind of format. I just change the pictures and things like that on it so that I'm not doing so much work trying to get certain things in here. Uh, I've added some overlays and things like that. So it's not going to be the same. Oh, and one other, one other thing that I found out. When you add, if you add, like, say, once you're done with your picture and you don't really like the color of it so like that's how it is just general I'm gonna take these take this other stuff out real quick and I'm just hiding the layer so if you play around with Photoshop it's all about layers so I'm just gonna hide all the layers here there's one of, okay there it is I'm gonna hide these layers so if I want this picture I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna hold Z and just hit alt so I can move in on it I'm gonna go out now so let's say I don't like how that looks I just wanted to kind of blend a really simple way to do it is to add colors kind of like RGB I think that's what it's called if you look at your TV you got the cables if you got an old TV I don't know if the new ones do it anymore but they separate the colors so 
when I add red, you'll see what it does. I add blue, you'll see what it does, and I add green. So basically just by adding those colors, and you can change the colors a little bit to adjust it if you want. Sometimes people use the color mixer and all that, but I have found this to be a real nice way to blend things into your picture a lot easier. So as you can see, you take them out, put them in. You could actually put these all as one, lock them together, so when you turn off one, it turns them all off. And then as you put things in there, it actually changes like everything in the picture. It kind of just gives everything a uniform shape and I mean uniform color and blends things in pretty good so that's the little thing that I do sometimes I have multiples of these I may have two reds two blues two greens I may do another color in there to kind of play around with it uh, there's other ways to probably do it you might just do one single overlay and then just change colors on that but this is a little thing that I do so and that's it that's basically you do your thumbnail for your videos for your once you get it and you need to make the sides on it the right way, you just shrink it down by using the save for web. This little option right here. And I'm using Photoshop CS, what is it, 6 or 5? This is the older one. I don't know. I think it's like 5. So uh, CS5, I believe. But basically, that's all you do. Go to file, save for web, and then you choose the one that you want and it'll give you all these different options and you can kind of move this around say a certain place in the picture you want to see you kind of move it around to see the picture a little bit better maybe you want to look at a certain color on them maybe you look at the ansel and you see the picture doesn't look a lot different but because we're actually using a smaller file size it's going to cut out, cut out a lot of information but you don't your eye doesn't really pick it up so hope that helps and talk to you later Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.